Shikoku is known for pilgrimage. The Hendro Trail circumnavigates the entire island and connects 88 temples dedicated to Kobodaishi, the founder of Shingon Buddhism in Japan. The second prefecture along the Henro path is called Kochi Prefecture. It is the largest of the four, but the least populated, and therefore very rural. It is a 80 km stretch from the last temple in Tokushima Prefecture to the first in the Kochi Prefecture, and that will continue throughout the entire prefecture. Walking the tiny back roads of Muroto, where you would usually never go unless you walk the hand round. That is Temple 26. And now we're on our way to. Temple 27, which is 27 kilometers away. So, piece of cake. How do I say it in Japanese again? Lakshō. Lakshō? Lakshō. Lakshō. Yeah, no, not today, tomorrow. <laughs> today we'll be somewhere in between. Finally, after the last couple of days along the highway, we're in the forest again. we we'll see something else. Not just highway and concrete. Proper forest, it's so nice. Back at Highway 55. Uh, just left a small historic town where only old people live. There will be soon a small village again where there is apparently a conveni to buy some food for dinner and then we head along another two k's to our campground which is on the beach or on the Cape. Yeah. I'm now at uh, Tano Station Michinueki and uh, it is 2 o'clock or something. We walked only 8 kilometers today and it's constantly uh, raining and stopping again and raining for an hour then not raining for an hour. So we said okay, today is our zero day or only 8k day. Up the mountain is the temple for today. And we are here. It's another 5 k's away. We've already been walking for an hour. And the last k is just very steep, but luckily we can leave the pack at the bottom, so it will be easier. Just ditched our backpacks down the road. And now walking up the last two k's. Very light. Oh, uh, salamander. Oh, nice. Yeah. Black one. So it turns out these two Hendro are 90 years old and they're still climbing up the mountains. That's very impressive. Now it's time for temple number 28, Dainichi Ji Temple, 36 kilometers. So we won't be able to do it today, but we will walk to Aki. It's like a small town with a kombini. And yeah, then by the time we arrive Kochi, it's like another storm uh, approaching apparently. So we'll probably have another zero day in Kochi into the temples in the area but for now another 36 kilometers along the highway awesome just been walking now for maybe an hour to get out of the city where we slept and we are now along the bicycle highway which is right next to the railroad and highway 55 and we have to walk here for roughly 
15 or 16 k to get to the next town. Well, today is a very probably boring day as we're just on the highway and this will be a long day. The total will be 27 kilometers. There's the temple gate, finally. And we are approaching temple number 29. First of two temples for today. Okay, I'm now at temple 29. And it is the most peaceful and beautiful one so far. As it is, you can see it's surrounded by trees. So it's like the small oasis in the middle of farmland. But it is so quiet, you don't hear any road noises. Only nothing, just some birds and stuff. Already at Temple 30, and the last temple for today. Just in time for the Henro party bus. Temple 31 looks a bit weird. Now I'm on my way to Temple 32. Um, yeah, 31 was surprisingly good. Uh, what I thought was just a massive construction site. Only one part of it, the part that was open was really nice, like the pagoda and stuff. And now 32. Well, there's apparently a Tsuyado. And since it is Sunday morning, nobody's around, it's very quiet and very nice to walk around. And apparently we can take a short ferry across the bay this morning to get to Temple 33. This is probably the highlight of today. At the moment we are just walking in our residential areas in the back alleys. Yeah, that's Temple 33. It doesn't have a proper gate. Yeah. The stretch between Temple 30 to Temple 35 is probably the most boring part of the Henro, because you will only walk through residential areas and farmland along the highway. So we've been walking the Emerald Island 
the route of the Emperor is conveniently located right next to our route, so we just take a break here and uh, watch the Emperor drive past. Walking up to Temple 35 after our lunch break with the Emperor passing by. Now, final steps up to the temple. That's the peninsula we're heading to. There's Temple 36. Walk all along the ridge line to the very end and camp there. That is Temple 36. In the middle of nowhere on the peninsula. And now to climb stupid mountain. That's the trail after the temple. I could walk all the way back along the highway. I would add like 5k to the trail. So I decided ah, just to go the mountain. It's only 1k. So it turns out the mountain is really steep. Luckily there's the Hindra sign, so I can't be that wrong. Oh, that's how oh, perfect. It's already a highway. Hendro guide says for the next 14k where I'm walking now there's no food or water supply. So I picked some extra water and some trail mix and it should last until the campground right next to the ferry terminal where I will meet my hiking buddies again but their feet are covered in blisters and they can't walk anymore so they have to take the ferry and I'll meet them at the terminal again and then tomorrow will be the first zero day in two and a half weeks before the long grunt of the next week is as for the next three temples they are each 60 or 70 k's apart so basically the next 200 kilometers will be rough. We've just left the uh, last small town. We're now heading towards the wilderness of Kochi Prefecture. Uh, temple 37 is a mountain temple. And that's where we're headed now. So we are first two mountain day tomorrow we will be in the mountains as well and finally this is now what we walk through so no more highway no more concrete just nice forest roads Yeah, now in Shimanto town, which is different from Shimanto city. It's just, well, it's very small. But here's temple number 37. After three days without temple now, we're finally here, and they do have Tsuyado. We've been walking for two hours already and make our way slowly to temple number 38. The way it goes along the highway, so 
pretty straightforward. Luckily we have a sidewalk, so it's fairly safe. But landscape-wise, yeah, it's okay. We are now following the ancient road, which looks like uh, more like a original way maybe. Because you can also walk along the highway, which is obviously paved and maybe a bit easier. But this one here is, uh, yeah, we call it like the nature walk, maybe. It's in the bush and just along the beach. And no concrete surface, just forest, which is very nice for the feet because it's very soft. And finally, after four days of walking now, but today is the fourth day. And my steady companion at the moment is Harry Potter. I just finished the third book. Today I'll start the fourth one, The Goblet of Fire. And it's so good while hiking to listen to Harry Potter. Unfortunately, the official Hendra Way goes now not along the coast anymore but decided to go up a mountain and I want to walk as many kilometers as possible on the official way because someone I mean someone cut this trail here and put some work on it so why not appreciate it I've already been walking for almost three hours so I had today like a very early start because today will be a very long day roughly 40 kilometers. Kochi Prefecture is probably the hardest part of the Henro because you need to motivate yourself all the time to walk those long stretches without a temple in between. But once you've reached Temple 38, you know you're at the halfway point, and from there on, it will be a lot easier. <laughs> 